everyone, welcome into Crochet Life and Stuff with Deborah Presents. Forgot the sign! <laughs> Me, Deborah, with the Saturday vloggy video. Uh, this is not a vlogtober video, that will come later on today. Um, this is being recorded very early. I apologize for weird shadows that may be happening because I usually have better daylight than this. But uh, gotta jump into it because an, a big day today. Uh, we are going towards Atlanta, almost into Atlanta, to an EV, uh, the electric vehicle car event. We don't own EVs, but we want to, so we get to go check them out and look at them and I don't know, if we're lucky we might get to drive something, but I doubt it. Uh, as far as life stuff in the crochet life and stuff world, it has been a weird week. Uh, hubby and I were headed to another town down the way. It's about a half an hour-ish drive, maybe a little bit more. We had to go to a bank. We needed to sign some papers to do with the mortgage and things. We get on the road, get about a third of the way there-ish, and we are on the interstate. And all of a sudden, the revs go down in the car, and we have to coast to a stop. That part was drama free. You know, the hubby got the car to the side of the road and it was all good. But then we're sitting there going, okay, expletives that I can't say on the YouTubes. My favorite word, the word that starts with F and ends with the end of luck. Okay. There was a lot of that. Um, yeah. Ended up having to call a tow truck. Tow truck guy got down there, got us back up to town. In the meantime, we contacted the bank people. We're going back on Monday, but let's just say Thursday was not a good day. And to quote Douglas Adams, uh, one of my favorite books, I never could get the hang of Thursdays. Just saying. So that was a thing. And then on Friday, we started Vlogtober. And I do have a little tiny short video out for the first of Vlogtober because I did that during a break. Actually, I did that before I started work. That's right. It got uploaded during a break. And well, that was a 13 hour work day. So now it's Saturday. And I'm actually off work for about the next nine days or so. So that's good. Um, but I'm starting off, I had to set an alarm on a day off. What? Anyway, into the crochet. I know that's what you're really here for. I've got a big couple of big bags sitting here and I've got stuff over here. I'm going to start with whips. Um, the hubby blanket hasn't been touched. If you want to know about the hubby blanket, look at previous episodes. I, I've done a lot of it, but this week it didn't happen. Last night I was sitting in front of the TV and I had all my cotton sitting there and I'm dropping it on the floor. And I decided to attempt to make a doily. So this is just, yes, those are ends to weave in. Let's turn it this way. Beginner crochet brain. I'm just crocheting around and it's cotton so it can be used for things and washed and everything. I just thought it'd be kind of fun. And I still have a bunch of yarn on the floor and I have a ton of like kitchen cotton type stuff. So there is that. Uh, another whip is the Vlogtober whip. And um, you will see that on the Vlogtober vlogs. Needless to say, I just grabbed a bunch of my random yarn and yarn balls and just scrap balls and stuff. And they are in here. This is that project. And no, I'm not going to show you. Oh, speaking of bags hanging from a whip caddy, I do want to show you this. This is full of yarn ball bands. Now we did have that one contest uh, where I had you guess how many ball bands there were. I've decided to continue that. Those are in here in addition to everything else that I keep working on. At the end of the year, we'll have a guessing game and a giveaway for that again because I thought that was kind of fun. Let's see. Oh, I do have other whips here. This is a, uh, a bag with some needles in it and buttons and I need to get more buttons. Buttons for what? Kitchen towel toppers. Of course. Oh my gosh, I run out of places to put things already. And it's only the beginning of the video. Well, it's going on the floor. Oh, no, it'll go over here. Yeah, I'm discombobulated. It's early, okay? Tis early in the day. I have some that I have gone ahead and done the, the cutting and the top row to be able to crochet into because that is my least favorite part of doing these is the cutting and the stitching so that I have something to crochet into. But that's my method of doing it. Um, if you want... 
I'll make a little video, a little tutorial about it, and add it to my tutorials about how I do it and how it turns out. These are a couple of fall related ones that, I, no, the ends are not weaved in yet because I also don't have buttons yet. But this is how this one will be, and it'll have a button that says Hello Fall. And this one also says Hello Fall, but I took different colors that were in it to bring out different colors. Now, how obsessed am I with doing these towels, you might ask, because I have so many of them here and I just keep doing them. Just to let you know, this bag, this big old bag is full to here with completed kitchen towel toppers. Yeah, but no, no, no. Does that mean I'm done? Not by any stretch of the imagination. This bag here is completely full to bursting with towels that have not yet been touched. Yeah. Thank you, Pamela. <laughs> Pamela's adoring creations. Uh, yeah, Pamela's adoring crochet, sorry. She started me on this obsession and I just can't stop. Um, so there is that. Oh my gosh. Oh, speaking of obsessions and things that people have started, you may have seen this little bag last week. Uh, I got these colors chosen for the three color challenge. And it's not just these three balls. I have many, many more of each of these colors in this Just Chenille. There is a video for you to put your idea of what I should make on it. Tomorrow, as in Sunday, I'm going to get the spinny, either the spinny wheelie thing or things in a bucket. I haven't decided which yet. Um, keeping up with however many different things that people have told me, we'll spin the wheel and I will do a project based on that for the three color challenge. That's another thing, wow. Um, also, got a cow coming up starting, I think Thursday, this coming Thursday. It is Lisa Ladybird Loves Pick and Mix Cow. This is my yarn for that. It is all warm autumn fall colors because I decided to go there. I wanted it to be fall. And the link to the pick and mix cow will be down below. Let's see. Oh my goodness. There's just so much craziness. Oh, yes. I had happy email. <laughs> not really happy mail yet. Uh, Trisha the Knitting Lady, who if you are not subscribed to her, you really should be. I'm going to have her linked below. She doesn't just knit. She also crochets and does yarny things. And she tells stories and does the most awesome, like little trivia tidbits. She is a great storyteller and she is a lot of fun. Great sense of humor. I absolutely adore Trisha. She had her one year sort of anniversary thing and I won. And what I won was an Amazon gift card. That Amazon gift card is sitting in my account waiting for me to decide what I want to get with it. I have some cubes that I keep looking at over there that I may get another set of and then rearrange my room, put these hard wooden cubes on that side and two sets of the, you know, put togetherable cubes on this side. Um, It'll mean more storage and yeah, I might do that. Since I'm off this week, that is a possibility if I can get some help because I can't really do it on my own. But that's the thing. Thank you, Trisha. I enjoy your channel so much and I just, I look forward to your videos because I never know just what you're gonna say. Always hoot. And as far as this community goes, we have had some hard times in the community. Um, yeah, Linda, a crochet sister, major health issues. We have had a lot of people with some serious health issues. Just spread the love. Keep people in your thoughts. Leave them a nice comment. Because sometimes, you know, as a content creator, you know, I can tell you that when you get a nice comment, it's like, oh, I got comments. And I get excited. The hubby kind of looks at me. He's like, okay, whatever. You know, and I'm like, look, but look, there's a comment. I do get excited. I get tickled. It lifts my spirits. And as somebody who deals with depression, uh, chronic depression, that it does help. It seems silly, but it feels like you have that little bit of a connection with other people. As much as I don't like to go out into the world with people, it's nice to have that connection with people who have at least some similar interests. I, I get kind of a little bit, you know, low-key jealous of people who get to do 
Like, oh, wait, I drove over here and I met with this person and we went, you know, yarn shopping or whatever together because I'm out in the middle of nowhere. And that's just not happening here. But maybe someday. Maybe someday. Oh, by the way, I had to show you this. Hang on. Let me get up in here close and try not to knock my little tripod. Do you see this beautiful little hank of silk yarn? Yes. It's a stitch marker. I got a pair of them. And that's why I wore this today because I wanted some yellow to wear with my little yellow ones. Um, these are made by Lisa Ladybird Loves. Yes, she makes these beautiful little yarn hank stitch markers, which are on sterling silver lever backs. So of course I'm going to use them as earrings. What are you, crazy? I mean, I might use one or two of them as stitch markers, but earrings, okay? The price is reasonable. Even shipping from the UK was not bad. And uh, she does a super good job. And she has so many colors to choose from. I will link her down below so you can check that out. What else am I forgetting to tell you today? Well, how about a non-yarny shout out? Okay, non-yarny shout out. Since I am going to an electric vehicle function today, excuse me, <clears throat> Transport Evolved. Um, I have shouted them out before, but if you're interested in any facet of any kind of electric vehicle thing, Check them out. They do a great news show. They're not sponsored by any um, vehicle people. So they give you real honest reviews. And <clears throat> they do get to go to different events. Now, they're up in the, uh, in the um, American Northwest. So they do get to go to different places up there. They actually get invited to other vehicle events. They get to drive the vehicles before we do. And they give their honest reviews. So... Yeah, you might learn a little something about electric vehicles, even if you don't have one, even if you're not in the market for one. This girl's broke, okay? She's not buying one today. But I'm interested. And because I'm interested, I'm going. Seems like it'll be a lot of fun. Just want to remind you about some things going on in the Crochet Life and Stuff with Deborah world. Be sure and always check the description down below. You never know what you might miss. You never want to might forget and just put down there. Um... <clears throat> Tuesday reviews, snacks around the world is a thing. It is still happening and it's still fun. If you missed the Vegemite episode, you might, and if you want to see little Oscar, my teeny kitty, yes, I'm talking about you. He's sitting right over there. Um, you may want to check that one out. I'm just saying that playlist is down below. Got some tutorials, just crochet from the beginning. This is not for your seasoned crocheters, not by any means. It's for people who started off like me, not knowing diddly. And I just try to show you that it's easy. You can do it. It's step by step. And maybe it might help somebody. I had to use really simple tutorials when I first started and it helped me. So yeah, try to do that. Plus some other little things. Maybe that might be a little fun too. Uh, Vlogtober is a thing. It is my goal to put out a video every day for Vlogtober separate for that. This is not my Vlogtober video. I will do one later today when we come back from Atlanta and talk about things and show my Vlogtober project. Anyway, thank you for coming by. I know I'm kind of crazier than usual this morning. It's early. Had a little phone call this morning. I really need to silence my WhatsApp before 7 a.m. I'm just saying. So, <laughs> you know who you are. <laughs> I will see y'all soon. Thanks for coming by. Please hit like and subscribe and all the usual YouTube stuff on your way out. Leave me a comment. I would love to hear from you. And I will see you soon. Bye-bye.